Welcome back, guys. Today we are pairing some unusual ingredients, well, for cocktails anyways. This is a peanut butter and jelly mule. So I gotta give credit to Livio from Master Your Glass. He mentioned peanut butter and jelly during his Moscow Mule video. Moscow Mules? I liken this drink a lot to the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Not because of how it tastes. Oh, never mind. So I thought right away, well, I gotta try combining these flavors. So for our peanut butter component, we're using screwball peanut butter whiskey. Um, I've been wanting to try this in a cocktail for a while. And then for the jam component, we've got a frangoli strawberry liqueur. So that's what we're gonna use. I was thinking of using Chambord, but then I remembered that I had this frangoli. So let's go ahead. So we're gonna start with a copper mug because that's standard for a mule. And we're gonna fill it with some ice. Now these mugs are pretty large. So make sure you fill right up to the rim with ice, as much ice as you can fit in there. There it is. All right, all right, let's get our peanut butter whiskey screwball. Um, I don't know if there's other peanut butter products out there, but this is the, the most well-known one. Two ounces of peanut butter whiskey. Uh, eventually, I'm gonna make a video on how to make your own peanut butter whiskey. Um, honestly, I haven't done any research, but I assume we're just gonna fat wash with some peanut butter and then adjust the sweetness with some syrup. All right, one ounce of our strawberry liqueur. Again, use uh, Chambord, use any other fruit liqueur. I like strawberry jelly, strawberry jam, so, oh wow, look at that, the strawberries actually come out. I totally thought this would have a filter on top, but nope, those little wild strawberries are going in the drink. So one ounce of your fruit liqueur. So that's our peanut butter and our jelly components. Now, uh, staying true to form for a mule, we're gonna do half an ounce of lime juice. That is, in fact, lime juice. All right, in the glass. And then we are simply gonna to top off with our favorite ginger beer. I'm using Canada Dry Premium Ginger Beer. Um, that's been my favorite for the past two years since they since they introduced the product. Uh, it's very it's it's very spicy, it's very sharp, but also a nice fresh ginger flavor. So it's really good. I recommend it if you can find it. Okay, there it is. We topped it off. Now we're gonna just grab a little spoon straw here and give it a quick mix looking good all right lower that straw in there let's get to garnish for garnish here you know we can go pretty standard with a um uh, we got a dehydrated lime wheel there looks good but if you want to get fancy you know how about a little mini peanut butter and jelly sandwich on the side there it is look at that doesn't that look hilariously awesome all right well before we taste this i'm just going to get rid of this little sandwich give that to odin here you go, buddy. All right. Let's get, I love how the little strawberries are sticking through. Okay, so that's surprisingly delicious. That's enjoyable. Um, I'm actually surprised that the peanut butter and jelly flavors are quite mellow. Um, that ginger beer is so strong, it's actually kind of like very subtle, but you do get the peanut butter in the background and the uh, strawberry fruit sweetness in the background. They're both there, they're both present, but this is still very much ginger forward uh, as it is a mule um, yeah two thumbs up for that one so there it is guys our peanut butter and jelly mule i hope you had fun it's fun to kind of do silly ingredients and come up with fun drinks if you like mules as much as i do definitely check out uh, a collaboration between myself vino from 60 second cocktails and tyler from the never empty bottle we did 12 moscow mule variations i will link below check out that video it was a lot of fun to make and that's it for today We'll see you next time, guys. I'm going to give this sandwich to Odin here. He loves peanut butter. Cheers.